What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Super Luck Tokus and G-Max Grim Snarl team. So if you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. Rocking out in our front spot, we got our boy in Cinnamore with that Assault Vest and that Intimidate ability. Normal moveset for him, Fake Out, you turn Darkest Larry and Flare Blitz. He's just awesome. He's a great little Pokemon for competitive. We got Speedy Old Venus or Timid Nature with Cooler Filth, that Focus Ash, Protect Sleep Powder, Giga Drain, and Sludge Bomb. Pretty normal moveset on him. We can cut or uh, control the match with the Sleep Powders and kind of run some things from there. We got our Tailwind user with that Cooler Knight holding that Lone Berry. So, yo, no status conditions for him. He's going to eat that berry, take it away. Like I said, it's our Tailwind Pokemon. It also has Body Press, Iron Head, and Brave Bird for stab damage. We got Super Luck and Scope Lens Tokus. You guys are already know about this these things are going to be able to crit so much and do some monster damage it has it's a normal moveset with follow me heatwave air slash and dazzling gleam which is pretty cool i really always love that moveset ever since like season one it's been so good so like why change it at all in the bottom spot we got the route down right here chewy scarf he's going to be a great back end pokemon as you can outspeed a lot of pokemon with that chewy scarf just going to boost his speed and be able to run late game it has stalwart so no follow me's are happening with steel beam and flash cannon for double stab move also with that trigger meter for big old stab damage but it's going to lower a special attack and then t bolt for that coverage move and then in the final spot i don't know how much we're going to be using it but we got g max grimson right here with fake out light screen reflect and sucker punch if you guys do not know what g max grimson does as g max snooze so it acts as like a double yawn so i don't know how much we're going to be using this because i really like this move set as just a support mom to set up screens with that light clay and have fake out to roll out but guys you want to use this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom screen if you do use it let me know in the comment section down below how you guys do with it but guys, without further ado, let's hop onto that ranked ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Battle number one coming at you guys. This guy is Contrary Malamar team. Okay, yes, the Clefairy, the Arcanine, the Ferrothorn, probably Moxie Gyarados or Intimidate Gyarados, and that Gengar to roll Tricker. Maybe have Hypnosis as well. Okay, who am I going to lead? Who am I going to lead in this first battle? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe, maybe Corbin Knight, get the Tailwind rolling. Let me just think, let me just think, because he's probably going to go Gengar, not even going to lie. He might go Gengar turn one, so I actually might want to lead that Grimstar. Get the screens rolling. Do we go Incineroar as well? Got to watch out for the Hypnosis. So I'm thinking I'm going to go Grimstar for sure. Um, I think I'm going to go Corviknight as well, as I, as I have that Lumberry, just in case. And then I'm going to go Scope Lens, Toad Kiss, and then in the final spot, do I go Venusaur as a back end mod? I mean, all I have is a Sludge Bomb and... Uh, I don't think Venusaur is going to work too well. I think Chewy Scarf to route on is going to come up clutch here and be able to do some work for us. Guys, if you want to catch more content from me, head in that link in the description below. When this video goes live, if you're like 10 minutes from when this video goes live, so my notification squad people, we're doing a viewer tournament right now at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch page. So go head down there, click that link in the description below. And if you catch me in the beginning of that stream, join that viewer tournament. Me and somebody on stream actually came up with the idea of the winner of the tournament. I'll actually showcase his team on the YouTube channel. So definitely go check it out. But he leads to contrary Malamar. And we go Corviknight over here. We go Corviknight. This thing has superpower, so... And it's going to boost his stats. So I'm definitely going to set up a Reflect here. Actually, why would I set up a Reflect? Why wouldn't I just go for a Fake Out? Try to quick Fake Out on this thing. And then uh, set up our Tailwind, or do I go right into an Iron Head? I feel like we are now. Okay, we'll, we'll set up Tailwind. I was going to say, I feel like maybe we already outspeed, but Malmar's scary. Malmar's very, very scary here. We go, he goes for Helping Hand. I'm going to set up this Reflect. He's definitely going for a superpower to boost his uh, stats here. That's, that's what's so good. But we do get the Fake Out on him, so haha. -ha. Little sucker boy. What you want? Now we got Tailwind. I'll set up the Reflect next turn. Set up the Reflect next turn. We are chilling, yo. Get get, get slapped on, kid. Reflect popping out here. He might go for another one of them. Uh, I'm just going to go for an Iron Head now. If he goes follow me, I'm totally fine with that. But I have the potential to flinch now. You want to get flinched now. Like, if he Dynamax, it goes to a Dynamax move. It's going to lower his stats. If he's contrary. He goes to Reflect. So that's why I think he's just going to roll into super Superpowers to boost his stats. Iron Head comes out. Can we get the flinch? Can we get the flinch? Show it to me. Two power comes out. We do not get flinch. And here it goes. Built. Decent damage. And here comes a stat boost like crazy. Man. Attack and defense. It's getting scary. Heal Pulse is coming in here. Okay, this, this is rather scary. Okay, we gotta take out that Clefairy. We gotta take out that Clefairy. Hands down. Get it. Take it down. So I'm just gonna go for a Sucker Punch over on you. And then just start throwing Iron Heads onto this left side here. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Let's see it. Ally switch coming in. Ooh, you little biscuit. You little biscuit. So Sucker Punch is not going to come through now, is it? Sucker Punch does not work now. Whack, dude. 
So whack, Iron Head comes out. Can we get a flinch now, at least? Show me a little bit of flinch action. No flinches, dude. This thing's gonna start teeing off, yo. Oh my lord, I gotta watch myself. I gotta watch myself here. This is getting scary, yo. This is getting real scary real quick. Sucker Punch again going out there, and I'm gonna throw an Iron Head over on this Clefairy. Do not go for another ally switch. Go for, like, a helping hand or something. I'm just gonna keep playing this game. I'll play this long game. I'll play this long game. He's teeing off, yo. This is actually scary, dude. This contrary Malmar doing work on us. Iron comes out here, super effective. Boop. Do a decent amount of damage. I can take it out next turn if I really want to. Is he going for a heal pulse? He's probably going for a heal pulse, I ain't gonna lie. And he's gonna keep teeing off on that core right. That is, oh my lord, oh my lord. Malmar's defense roses. And Clefairy flinches and her tailwind peters out here. So I'm gonna try to set up another tailwind. I do have a reflect up already. I'll go after this Malmar. I'm gonna try to get this tailwind off before we do roll out. That was already four turns. That's insane. Sucker Punch comes out. Hey, hey. He's gotta be going for a heal pulse this turn, right? And another superpower is gonna come out here. He's gonna go after you. Okay, that's totally fine. Oh no, he's going after Corbin. I thought he was going after uh, Grimstar for a second. Jeez, man, yo, contrary Malamore is gonna be hit like a truck, dude. This is terrible. This is terrible. Now he just rolls into follow me's probably. It does some work. Like this is so like this is scary. This is so scary. I have stalwart, so do I just drop a Draco meteor on that thing? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I have stalwart. I'm gonna drop. Uh, do I drop Draco Meteor here? Or do I go Steel Beam? How do I how do I roll out with this? Like I need to take that thing out. That's a fact. I mean, he's definitely gonna go for. I don't know if he's gonna go for follow me. I'll go for a Steel Beam. Hmm. Power 140. I gotta go for against this Malamar with this. I am Choice Scarf. I'm stalwart. Helping Hand comes out here. We have to dump on this thing. Like, we have to dump on this thing. I'm truly scarf, so I should be able to have the speed advantage. Sucker Punch comes through. We gotta take this thing out. Like, dude, oh my lord. Get it. Get it. Steel Beam comes out here. Take him out, dude. He's gotta go. He's gotta go. Steel Beam comes out. N what? Not even. Dude, this thing's so bulky. This thing's so bulky. This thing is so bulky. It is ridiculous. What is this? Contrary Malmar running me in game one. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? We're getting absolutely slapped on right here. I thought Steel Beam would have been able to do 10 times more damage. Bruh. Bruh, that thing ate it up like no problem. No problem. Alright, alright, alright. It's okay, it's okay. Go for another Sucker Punch. Now he's probably gonna go for a Follow Me. I'm gonna go for this, uh, this Starfall. I'm gonna go for a Starfall here. Let's see what happens. Jeez, man, this thing is teeing off. This thing is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Like, what am I gonna do? What am I going to do here? Jeez, man. Contrary Malmar is so strong, dude. So, so strong. Redonkulous. Redonkulous, man. Get out of here. Get out of here, kid. He's just boosted now. He's like plus five on defense as well. <laughs> it's just like, it's like GG. And here comes the Dynamax. He's gonna own me here. That's game over. That is game over. Are you serious? Are you serious, dude? He just did. He just played me exactly how he wanted to. Exactly how he wanted to. Just exactly what he wanted. He's rolling out strong and doing some work on me. Doing some absolute work on me. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Big old Mal Mark comes out. I need like a big monster crit to take this thing out. Circle Punch comes out. Yo! Got Tokus. Crit this thing. Crit it and take it out. Crit it and take it out. Actually, it just should be able to take it out. So we're okay. Hold up. Hold up. He made a bad play there. He made a bad play there. I think he wanted to go for that heal pulse. We're chilling now. We're looking pretty well here I have two Dynamax turns left with a big old Togekiss things are looking pretty good things are looking pretty good as that Melmore starts to run me he makes a bad Dynamax call he should have went into the follow me right I thought he was gonna go into the follow me and then be able to roll out on me but hold up your boy's coming back your boy's coming back he has Gengar probably focus Ash with that hypnosis gotta watch out I'm gonna set up the light screen right now the light screen light screen baby. And I'm just going to send an airstream this way. I'm going to send an airstream over on the Gengar side. Booster speed. You going for the hypnosis? He's got to be going for that hypnosis, right? He's got to be going for that hypnosis. Let's see what happens here. Follow me comes out from the Clefairy. Obviously, that's totally fine. I'll set up this light screen. Get the screen of light popping. Get it. Get it. Yes, we got it. It's rolling strong. And we're going to be able to drop an airstream. What's he going for? Nancy plot. He's setting up a plot. Oh, that's totally fine. I'm boosting my speed. I'm boosting my speed. And I can definitely go into a sucker punch next turn. I can definitely go into a sucker punch on that thing. And then airstream it that way too. So Clefairy gone. Clefairy gone. Hold the phone. 
I know that thing's probably Sash. I know this thing's probably Sash, so I'm gonna double into that thing next turn because he is setting up strong. He's setting up shop. So we got the speed advantage this match. Did he have Dragon Ball on his team? I don't know if he did. I don't know if he did have Dragon Ball. Hmm. So Clefairy's gone, Support Mine's gone. We have one more turn left in the Dynamax, and it goes to Gyarados. Gyarados pops out here. Definitely going to Sucker Punch and then throw maybe another Airstream. Sucker Punch coming out here. Yoink. Yoink that. And then do I, how do I play this one? I'm definitely going to go into an Airstream over on you. Come on, baby. What you want? You want to play games with me? You want to do, try to get with me? He had this one, dude. He had this one. I'll take it, though. If I win this one, I will 100% take it. Like, he had it. Sucker Punch comes out. No, this thing's plotting, dude. This thing's plotting again. He is plotting. Is this thing Sash? Let's see. He is Sash. Okay, I can just sucker punch that thing and own that thing up. So we're pretty much sitting in a pretty good spot. I can just roll out with a bunch of sucker punches. I think I only have one left. So that's uh, it's kind of looking scary. It's kind of looking scary. I gotta use it wisely. But he cannot hit me, but my Tokus can chill here. What is this thing going for? A plot. And then what's a Garrett going for? This is what I'm confused with Garrett. Maybe a uh, waterfall, probably potentially. I don't know. Let's see what happens. A waterfall, yeah. And we eat up pretty, pretty well. We eat up pretty well. Okay, it's so a beautiful. So, actually, do I go for a sucker punch? Like, I know I'm going to outspeed the, the, this, uh, what's it called? I know I'm going to outspeed that, uh, Gengar. So, I'm actually just going to throw a sucker punch over on you. And then I'm just going to drop a heat wave. Or Dazzling Gleam. A Dazzling Gleam. So, yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do. I know we're going to outspeed. We're plus two on the board. Sucker punch comes through on this. Yoink! Do a little bit of damage, and then Dazzling Gleam comes out here, takes out the Gengar, and does some damage over on this Gyarados. We do not take out the Gyarados, but yo, um, here's the real question. Do I have another Sucker Punch? I didn't even check. We get the double crit. We're chilling. Cursed Body takes away my Dazzling Gleam. Gengar goes down, but the, the question is, do I have another Sucker Punch? Because if he takes me out with this Waterfall, then I'm not sick good, but can we eat? <gasps> oh my lord. He's Life Orb, and he's on one. Do I have another Sucker Punch? I don't even know if I have another one. I have one. I have one left. Okay, so we won this one. He might actually protect, but I totally have the speed advantage anyway. So, yo, GG to this guy. Yo, he had it in the bag. He had it in the bag. All he had to do was follow me with that Malamar and then take out my Togekiss. But, yo, let's go. Okay, so this guy has Torkoal and Venusaur right here. I'm going to bring my Venusaur as well because if he wants to set up the drought, I can use my Venusaur to kind of counteract his. So we're going to roll out with that. So Venusaur is probably going to get the lead. That Kuloister is kind of scary as well. The Kuloister is definitely scary. Um, do I have to take Speed Advantage here? Do I have to take Speed Advantage? That's my question. I think I'm going to lead Venusaur, obviously. So we're going to lead the Venusaur. And I might actually Dynamax the Tokus. I think I'm going to go Tokus turn one. Did I bring Corvo in the back? I really don't about the screens right now i think i'm gonna bring incineroar and uh corvo in the back or duraladon or duraladon i mean it doesn't seem too too fast so i think duraladon will be the call with the scarf so we're gonna roll out with this in the second battle yo let's get it let's go dude that first battle we definitely should have lost but yo we take those all day he made a misplay like i said all he had to do was go for the follow me and then he could have just dumped on my tokus as he's like plus five and he has to have like a dark move like throat chop or something and just bang Take me out or something along those lines. We're just going to another fighting move. Like something would have just did some work on me. But he leads. This guy leads. The Venusaur and the Torkoal. Good thing I led Venusaur of my own. Torkoal's going to go last. I am definitely going to. Um, How am I going to do this? Am I going to drop a Sludge Bomb on him? Now it's going to come out here. I don't think I Dynamax. I do not think I Dynamax here. I think I just roll out into a Heat Wave. And I actually go into. Actually, I'm going to Sleep Powder over on this side. And I'm going to drop a Heat Wave. And I'm going to drop a Heat Wave. Because I do not want this uh, Torkoal setting up. Let's see what happens. Sleep Powder comes out from my Venusaur. Yoink on that thing. Hopefully it goes for like a Sludge Bomb on me. On my Tokus. My Tokus eats up. Let's see what happens here. Sleep Powder. Yoink. <laughs> We're seeing double Sleep Powders, baby. Okay, okay. <laughs> we thought the same thing. I wish it was like emotes. I throw them a little bit like a GG one or something like that. <laughs> but yo, double Sleep coming out here. Um... I don't think I can be slumped, so I'm actually just going to go for a Sludge Bomb over on you. And I'm just going to try to throw another Heat Wave ball out. Let's just see what happens here. We might actually swap the Torkoal out, which I'd be totally fine with. I'd be totally fine with it. Hopefully, we have Quick Naps with our Togekiss here. Hopefully, we have Quick Naps. Let's see what happens. He's going to, yeah, he withdraws the Torkoal. And he's going to go into Kratabrasa. I don't even know how to pronounce it. <gasps> this hunk of junk. With the Air Balloon. Sludge Bomb comes out. Oh, yay! Do some damage on that. I think we're going to see Sludge Bomb for Sludge Bomb. Yep. But he's going to throw us over all my Togekiss. And just absolutely mark on that thing. And he gets a crit, dude. Are you serious? 
Like, what you mean you get a crit? I thought totally we were eating up a turn. I thought for sure we were eating up a turn, but, um... I'll pop out Incineroar here. I'll pop out on Incineroar. What you want, fool? We get Incineroar popping here. I think I fake out the... What's it called? Did I fake out the Venusaur? So, what do I think really is going to happen here? We have a Drought. I think we're chilling here. Let's say I fake out on the Venusaur, right? Or do I just sludge? I know I outspeed, so I'm going to fake out on you, actually. I know I outspeed that Venusaur. So, definitely fake out on the... On you right there, little boy. On little Cloyster. So, we can fake out the Cloyster potentially take off the Sash. Because I feel like this Cloyster might be Sash. I think it might be Sash. So, fake out comes. And then we should be able to outspeed this Venusaur and take it out. We pop a Terra Balloon as well. And we go... Did we take him out? No. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oof. Oof. Come on. Get off of me. Leave me alone. Please. Stop it. Stop it. Game's trash. It's so trash. Um, do I read the protect? I'm gonna read the protect. I'm gonna read the protect. I'm gonna read the protect coming from this Venusaur. I'm gonna read it. Ice Shark comes out. Oh, you little hunk of junk. He just knocked over the protect. He did not do it. That little hunk of junk, though. Pika Drain comes out here. We'll get our HP back, though. Yeet. See you later. Take out you. Take out the Cloyster. I'm not worried about you, Venusaur. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm back at full HP. You're not taking me out. You're not taking me out, little boy. I can take you out whenever I want. He goes for an EP. Oof. EP comes out. Oh, well, my Venusaur. We eat that up all day. I thought you were going after my Incineroar. Bad play by you. Bad play by you, Bing Bong. I'm going to save my Dynamax for my Duraldon. I think that is a call. And I'm just going to Sludge Bomb and take out that, uh... That Venusaur here. And he goes back into Torkoal. Which is rather scary. He's still asleep, though. He's still asleep. So, as long as he doesn't wake up, we should be chilling just fine. So, I'm going to go here. And I'm just going to throw a Darkest Larry over on the Charter. The Torkoal right here. Come on. What you want, fool? What you want? You want to play games with me? Sludge Bomb. Get out of here, boy. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Get out of here, kid. The good thing I did lead that Venusaur. Good thing I really did lead it. Oh, and my Incineroar wakes up. We get a nice little Darkest Lariat off on this. Sleep powders all gone. We're looking good now. We're looking real good. Looking real good. This thing should... Oh, wakes up and goes for a flamethrower. Okay. We can say bye-bye. Actually, we're full health, aren't we? No, we are not. I forgot about the Earth Power. Forgot about the Earth Power. I was going to say our Sash should trigger. But now our Duraldon's going to roll here. We're going to Dynamax. That Torkoal is so slow. So we're totally fine with that. Duraldon, get out here. The Duraldon's going to benefit me just as much as it benefits him. With my Incineroar. He's gonna go. Is that Mimikyu? He goes Mimi Mims. He goes Mimi Mims. So this is actually uh, a little scary. I'm definitely going to Dynamax and I'm going to boost our defense. Mm, I cannot. I'm actually just going to lower their attack and go into the Torkoal. And then I'm just going to take off this thing's. Uh, I'm just gonna take off this thing's disguise. I feel like my Duraldon should be able to eat up one shot from this thing and outspeed it. Actually, I don't know. Because don't we lose our scarf? Basically, we, we forfeit our rights to the choice scarf. I mean, here's our Dynamax. He actually might roll Trick Room and go into a Protect. Oof! He might actually do that, but we're going to start lowering attack. Here. He might actually do that, and that might actually win him the game. That might have been the play call of the century. But we'll see what happens here. Is he going Protecting the Trick Room? No, he's just Dynamax, but we do outspeed. We do outspeed because of the Scarf, or I don't know if the Scarf helps us out, but we outspeed the Mimikyu either way. So this is the beautiful thing. I'm going to be able to deal some mean damage to this Torkoal, potentially take him out, but get that attack drop on that MQ, which is just as big, and then Darkest Larry take off that disguise and be able to Flare Blitz and roll out here, so. So far looking pretty solid. Wait, what? Wait. How did we Dynamax first? I thought that was the rule. I thought if we Dynamax first, we were faster. Hmm. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm so confused. Like, what is going on here? Wormwind's gonna come out here. We'll drop that thing's, uh, attack. Hopefully we can take out the Turkle. We do, we do. Okay, so we're sitting in a very, very pretty spot. But, yo, I definitely thought, like, guys, isn't it if you Dynamax first, you are faster? I guess maybe, like, it was because of the Choice Scarf, and then we lost the Choice Scarf? I, I really don't know. But this guy's just going here. We chilling. Look at him go 2-0, and oh, baby. Look at this. He's going bloop. He's going to give it a little bloop. <laughs> Bloops on down. And this guy's was busted, baby. And I can go into a Flare Blitz, and I can roll into another Worm one if I want to, which I... No, I'm going straight into the Steel Spike. Which one does more? I think it would be this one. Yeah, this one's 140. This one's 140, baby. And then the Flare Blitz is going to roll out, and we're going to say GG, baby. GG, 2-0. This guy cancels the battle. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's hop into battle number three and try to have a perfect record for this video.
Guys, if I win this one, we go into Master Ball tier. We are 19 and 20. Not bad for just using a bunch of random teams. Like, I do not stick with one team. Sometimes on streams, I'll use it for, like, the whole stream. But usually, I'm, like, using one team after another, after another. I usually use the team for one battle. Like, I do not focus on one team using it. Like, I did that one season. I pushed, like, top 1,000, which was pretty cool. But I haven't did it since. I haven't did it since. I always like using just a bunch of different teams and pushing that way. But here we go. Going into our third and final battle. This guy is Trick Room Squad. It's Trick Room Squad. So I'm definitely going to re lead the round on with that stalwart. Um, do I go Incineroar? He has Beware, dude. Beware is scary. Uh, do I even go Incineroar? I feel like Incineroar is not the call. I feel like Togekiss is the better call. And then bring him. Because I don't want him leading in DD and then our fake out just going to waste. I could go with for G-Max Snooze. And then I feel like I bring maybe... Maybe Incineroar for later, for later turns. Hmm, that could be very, very good. I'm gonna bring Incineroar for later turns. Let's run it, let's get it, yo. I got that Stalwart turn one. I got Stalwart so I can go after whoever I want and then I have Dazzling Gleam and Heat Wave which can just like double through. So no problems are really messing with us. But here we go guys, let's get it. Third and final battle, yo, I'm hype, I'm hype. But yo guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. Have you guys hit Master Ball tier yet? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know who hit Master Ball tier. And let me know how many battles it took you guys to actually get to Master Ball. Because sometimes it can take you a little bit if you win like your first five. You'll be you can be a Master Ball tier. But how are we gonna see this? How what are we gonna see happening here? Um, I'm definitely down Maxim. And who do I go after? That's the real question. I think I gotta go after uh you, right? Kind of scared. If he Dynamax is one, he can take me out. So I can just go for a follow me. Because if he goes for a ground move, I'm chilling. But I'm gonna go here. And I'm just gonna go for a follow me, to be honest with you. Or no, this thing could be sashed. I got I gotta go for the hit. I gotta go for the hit on it. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna roll out with the stalwart for turn one. Maybe I shouldn't have Dynamax to be honest. Maybe I should just went into a tree scarf uh, flash cannon. Probably could have been a nice play. But still, we're gonna Dynamax this thing turn one. I wonder what he's doing. Like, this is an odd lead. This is a odd lead. This is a very odd lead here. Let's see what happens. Is he protecting my peer? He is protecting my peer. So I made the right call. Going after you. I know you're trying to set up Trick Room, but this is just in case he is a. Uh... Oh, no, okay. This thing has Babiri Berry. So good thing we uh, doubled in. Good thing I didn't just go for Follow Me. So Babiri Berry pops out here. How much damage are we still going to do with this thing? We're still just going to take it down to that, and then, good thing I went for that Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam's going to be able to roll out here and actually finish off this Hatterene, so no Trick Room, and then my Duraludon can actually roll out. So, this was definitely a weird lead. Like, this was so predictable, like, the Protect from the Rhyperior, because all Rhyperiors go Protect, and then the obvious Trick Room play from the Hatterene. But Hatterene gone, say, so see you later, no Trick Room for you. And I wonder what he's going to do now. Does he have Dust Cops in the back to try to roll out again? Or what, like, what is he going to do? That, like, I'm so confused. He has Dusk Ops, okay. And I think he actually might Dynamax that Rhyperior. Do I just take out the Rhyperior, or do I go after Dusk Ops? I say I honestly take out the Rhyperior. Like, in all honesty, I say we go after this Rhyperior. It's not going to protect. It cannot protect. And I could roll out into an Air Slash on it, but I'd rather go Dazzling Gleam to double up on some damage, get some crits and stuff, and go from there. And it's Stab as well. So he is going to Dynamax the Rhyperior. This is why I want to go into it. Because I don't think we could have killed that Dusk Ops. That was, that's kind of rough. Kind of rough. But we're going to get the defensive boost as well. Defensive boost is going to be huge. But we're going to trigger this thing's weakness policy. That's 100%. What is going to happen here? But let's see what he does. He's got to be going into the Max Quake, right? Onto my Dedon. He's got to be doing that. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Steel Spike comes out. Hopefully he's Life Orb instead of weakness policy. That could be huge for us. Not bad damage there. Brings it down to half. And then Dazzling Green's going to pop out here as well. Is it policy? Let's see. He's got to be policy if he's rolling Dust Cops, right? With that Bulldoze, all that good stuff. Let's see. He goes for that. Yeah. Hopefully he goes for a Bulldoze. I honestly hope he goes for a Bulldoze this turn. That'd be so much cooler if he does. As Gleam comes out here, oh, we get some mean damage on that right here. We get that crit on the right here. And we get a crit on Dust Cops. Thanks for Super Luck. Go for a Bulldozer, buddy. No, he's going for Trick Room. He's going for Trick Room. Rockfall comes out here. And that's going to take out my Togekiss. The Togepu goes down here. Um, I got to bring out. Who do I got to bring out here? Whom do I got to bring out here? Was that thing weakness policy or is that thing life orb? Hold up. Because I didn't see the weakness policy trigger. So this thing might actually be life orb, which is huge. And then I can bring out my Incineroar, which could be pretty good. And the Bulldoze does roll out here. Doing a little bit of damage to him. He, so he does not roll Trick Room. So we are sitting so pretty right here. We are sitting so pretty. He does he does not roll Trick Room. I am so surprised he did not roll Trick Room. 
Okay, yo, we looking good. We looking real good. Now I'm definitely get out this uh, Incineroar. I'm gonna definitely get out this Incineroar. Just to get that attack drop, just in case he wants to go for something. What? Wait, was that like? I don't even know if that thing was weak this policy. I didn't see it pop up. Like, what item is that thing holding if it's not weakness policy? Let me check. Let me check the stats. What is he? Okay, no, he was weakness policy. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. He was weakness policy. So, hmm. Hmm. Uh, Steel Spike going over on... We gotta send it over on the Rhyperior, right? We gotta send it over on the Rhyperior, because I'm not sure if this will actually take it out. This thing's just a bulky defensive mod. But I'm gonna send a Steel Spike over on the Rhyperior, get the Darkest Slayer going over on the Cops. He might guard, to be honest. He just goes for an ally switch. So, um, hopefully this Darkest Slayer can take out... I hope so. Let's see. Let's see it happen, yo. Let's see it happen, Incineroar. Let's see it happen. Oh no, we have Solward. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. We have Solward. <laughs> Solward owns up, yo. Stupid. We got Solward. This guy went for the ally switch, and we take out the right here, yo. Looking good. Looking like we got Master Bolt here yet again for the new season, yo. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sitting pretty, yo. Three and zero with this team. Absolutely ran it. Did some work with it. Did some work. Let's go, Darkest Slayer. Yeah, get it. You wink him up. You wink him up. Built, yo, big old damage. Brings him down to one, but you guys already know Sandstorm buff is going to take him out. And is that all of his mons? That might be all of his mons. He might have one more. No, he has one more. Because he led the uh he led the right period in the Hatterene and then went into the Dust Cop. So he has one more. So I wonder who it is. Jeez, man. This guy had two trick room mons and didn't even try to pull trick room like once. Like maybe turn one, but like, jeez, man. And he has Torkoal. Yo, dude. GG, man. Go ahead, set that drought for me. Set that drought for me, little boy. I'm gonna drop a big old Draco Meteor and go into would Flare Blitz be more than Darkest Larry? I don't know. I'm just gonna go Darkest Larry. Play it safe. Still stab. Still stab. Still, still, still stab. Drink a meteor. Drink a, drink a meteor. Are we gonna get three cancel battles? That'd be lovely. That would be lovely. Show me three cancel battles. Yes, sir. 3 0 with this team. And we get Master Bolt here. I'm gonna show it off. I just wanna see that bar trickle up. I just wanna see that bar trickle up for you guys. Just give you guys a quick little peek of it. Give you guys a, just a quick little glimpse of that. Take some time. Do I want to continue battling? No. We're going to go hit rank battles, and we're going to update our rank. We're going to update our rank. So we are 20 and 20, which is not bad, which is not too bad. We're going to just update our rank. I just want to see and hear the sound and see what rank we actually land ourselves into. Usually, you land pretty high once you hit Master Ball tier for the first time. Let's see it. Yeah, yo. 10,175. You've reached max rank. Master Ball tier. Let's get it. 20 BP, baby. You love to see it. You love to see it. Yes, sir. Let's get it, guys. Master Ball tier in this video, and we went 3 0. It's a win win situation for us. This team was awesome. Tons of fun to use. I love the Super Luck Tokus. Like I said, we didn't get to show off the G Max Grimstrong, but I really like the support moveset on him. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.